Hi! Today we are going to learn about hardware description languages. Tell me, do you know what HDL is? Didn't think so. So we asked a few IT students same question. Let's see what they have to say. Have you ever heard of HDL? Uh, high definition something. It's a top. Uh, what? Come again? Man, yeah, HDL. Nope. nope. So today, we shall be talking about hardware description language, also known as HDL. HDL is any language from a class of either computer languages, specification languages, or modeling languages. HDL is a formal description and design of electronic circuits and digital logic. So basically there are two types of HDLs. These two are the most important and the most used HDLs. VHDL and Verilog HDL. We shall see a short video about these now. Should I learn Verilog or VHDL? They are both perfectly good HDLs for programming and modeling FPGA. They are both industry standard hardware description languages. At least there is only one TLA in that sentence. TLA? What is that? Three letter acronym. Which language should I learn? Very long has been used a lot longer than VHDL. VHDL came out in 1987, while Very Log goes back to 1983. That's not a big difference when you consider it was 30 years ago. Whereas JavaScript frameworks showed up in 2009 and 2010, and the 12 month head start is a big deal. Very long is probably easier to learn, assuming you don't need to learn PLI. What is PLI? The programming language interface. Very long sometimes only does as good a job at modeling as VHDL when using PLI too. Which one is easier to learn? VHDL is not like C, which for a lot of people is a plus. Then again, it gives you a steep learning curve because it is not as intuitive. Which one is easier to use? I've heard Verilog is easier because it had fewer roles. It feels like you can learn Verilog faster because you can get going, but you don't find the error later until you're in the simulation phase. VHDL lets you use a lot of data types. Verilog data types are a lot simpler, if limited. Using Verilog means you have to be careful how you compile it. Change the order of the files and you can get very different results. A lot of the hassle can be made up for by code reuse. Which one lets me recycle files and minimize reinventing the wheel, or circular circuit? VHDL has more design reusability. Verilog needs functions and procedures put in different file systems to be used again. Why is VHDL better? VHDL uses libraries to store entities, architectures and configurations. This makes an idea when you have multiple design projects. I guess that's because Verilog was designed as an interpretive language but it doesn't translate well to today's engineering environment. Now that we have seen the characteristics of both these languages, let's talk about a general computer programming language, which here is C programming language. C programming is a very general purpose programming language, which can be compiled for a very wide variety of computer platforms and operating systems. This language has become available to a wide range of platforms and operating systems from embedded computers to supercomputers. Let us now talk about a few differences between a general computer programming language and a general hardware description language. Now C is a middle level language which is a mix of high level language 
and an assembly language. VHDO is a hardware description language which is used for implementing the hardware circuit. Another difference is C can only handle sequential instructions whereas VHDL allows both sequential and concurrent executions. The third difference is a C program can be successfully written with pure logic or algorithmic thinking but a successful VHDL programmer needs thorough working knowledge of the hardware circuits. He should be able to predict how a given code will be implemented in the hardware. The last difference is, normally we don't care about the resource usage in C, because C programs are usually run on computers which use a high processing power with high speed. But when it comes to VHDL, the memory and the other logic elements are limited in an FPGA. It is very difficult to implement image processing algorithms in VHDL than in C. So lastly, I would like to say that HDLs and a computer programming languages are very different. This is because both the languages have a lot of basic level differences between them, even though they may seem to have a few similarities. In contrast to most software programming languages like C, HDLs include an explicit notion of time, which is a primary attribute of hardware. Thank you for watching.